So this is probably the number one request I get. How do I draw a pyramid in one point perspective? I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I've already marked the horizon line across the top, that horizontal line, and a vanishing point on that horizon line. Notice that in one point perspective you can place that vanishing point anywhere along the horizon line that you want to. There's no rule or uh, reason for having to put it in any specific spot so long as it's on the horizon line. So I've just put it over to the right hand side um, just because and now I'm going to use it to draw my square on the ground plane in perspective in one point perspective so that means one side of our shape is going to be front facing or parallel to the picture plane and again think of the picture plane as kind of a flat surface it's like a camera viewfinder that's a, a window that's right in front of your eyes all the time and it represents the two-dimensional surface on which we're going to draw so we want one side of our square to be front facing parallel to the picture plane and two sides of that shape are going to recede to your vanishing point like that so that just takes care of the two receding sides and then we draw a horizontal line to represent the front edge that's parallel in one point perspective and then another horizontal line to cut off the back edge to draw the back edge of the shape in one point perspective. Um, I tend to clean things up as I work because it helps to keep uh, keep things neat and tidy which is a generally a good practice in perspective um, so that your accuracy is good because perspective does require a great deal of accuracy. So next we need to find the center of this square in perspective. Uh, for squares and rectangles, basically to find the center of any kind of square or rectangle uh, in perspective, you need to draw an X from corner to corner. And that will give you the perspective center, basically uh, keeping in mind that in perspective things will um, foreshorten, converge, and um, diminish in size. It's important to use an X to find the center. You can't just go based on you know eyeballing it. You have to find you have to draw the X to find the center of the shape. So this is finding the center of this particular square that's drawn on the ground plane and now I take a vertical line up from that center and that just defines the uh, topmost point of my pyramid and you can make that line as long or short as you want to depending on the the type or shape or proportion of pyramid that you would like and then once you've established the height of the pyramid you can just take lines going diagonally from that topmost point down to each of the four corners of your pyramid and that is how you draw a pyramid in one point perspective. Now at this point there are a couple things you can do. One thing I recommend doing if you're having a hard time seeing things is to go ahead and erase the guidelines that are getting in the way of being able to view the uh, three-dimensional shape. So very oftentimes it's hard to see what's going on if there are too many lines in the way and that line right there is one that kind of gets in the way. Now you can see it a little bit more clearly. Um, you can take this even further if you want to make it an opaque or solid shape by erasing the edges and lines that you would not see if this were an opaque shape. So solid not see-through. Currently it's see-through. So let's go ahead and make it solid and to do that we're going to just erase the edges that we would not see because they are hidden uh, by the front facing side of the pyramid and in that case we, the guidelines that are contained within also get erased since those would also be hidden from our view to make this into a solid pyramid. And this is how you draw a pyramid in one point perspective.